Now for this last part, what I've got to do is integrate this between the limits x equals 1 to x equals 5. And in the normal way, what I would have done would have been to insert my limits going from 1 to 5 in the example that we did just previously. So we just pick this up now from this stage here. All we need to do is just substitute 5 in first of all and then subtract what we get when we put 1 through. And if you put 5 through here, you can see that this bracket here is going to be 0. So the first part here is just going to simply be 0. Put 5 in here, this term is going to be 0. Okay, So you've got 0 minus 0 there. And then we can say that we get minus, and if we put 1 through, well, 1 into this bracket makes this 0, so that's making this very easy. This is 0, and then we've got minus, and if we put 0 in, sorry, if we put 1, I should say, into here, I'm getting too happy with these zeros, I think. If I put 1 through here, we've got 5 take 1, which is 4. 4 to the power 5 over 2 then is going to be there. So 4 fifteenths multiplied by 4 to the power 5 over 2. So this is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2. 2 to the power 5 is 32. 32 times 4 fifteenths. Well, that's going to give me 128 fifteenths. And so you've got minus, minus, so that's a plus. So you get 128 over 15. Nice and easy then for that part, okay?